Hello, my lovely friends, and happy card making day. This is a world card making day, and this video is a part of the video vlog hop which I am doing with beautiful and talented ladies from crafting together with all the brands. Now, I was thinking what type of the card I should do for the card making day, and the answer for me was just one. I've decided to grab all the things which I truly dearly love uh, you could see the design the collection i've designed for a craft stash another uh, dies from in love arts uh, i have this tonic studio die here i'm having the uh, stamp set from fellow crafter uh, jessica from paper ink stab which i really like and then two beautiful papers from the uh, carolina from art story this is a new design team i've just joined and of course my foam flowers so uh, grabbing all the favorite uh, goodies i have on hand and uh, for the flowers you could see here if anyone is interested i do have the video on my youtube channel if you would like to learn how to create those flowers now i'm going to be creating a deal size card because this is one of my favorite designs i love those long shape of the card i think it's just giving this nice um you know chic elegance look and i just like them so today i am just playing i'm just having fun and uh, i'm actually on the days like that i like to reflect on my past like i've been making the cards for 11 years and i absolutely love it this is the best thing in the world uh, which happened to me apart from my family and um, my husband my son and you know uh, friends and everyone but a uh, card making is my biggest passion in the world and i am so happy I could be here uh, today to share it with you so I hope you will enjoy uh, this simple and quick design uh, which I'm gonna be making while playing with this favorite uh, goodies of mine now I've scored the paper at four inches folded in half this was a regular a4 size cardstock and now I cut this uh, mat from this lovely wooden shape uh, wooden pattern uh, paper all the links for the goodies i'm using today they will be down below in the description area if anyone would be interested now i had this spare piece with this um, rose design and i've decided to print another sheet of the paper you can see here uh, so i'm gonna be cutting them using this uh, nice uh, shape this was the pocket holder this was the part of this like a pocket holder i designed for the craft stash i had this in mind that you could create those pockets for like a rsvp cards for the invitation or for gift cards for vouchers for things like that uh, so that was the decorative element but you could use it on its own as you can see here i've cut this uh, floral images twice and now I'm cutting a smaller piece of the white paper uh, just to go on top of this wooden pattern uh, design i didn't want to cover it uh, at first but then i thought i really want the white so this uh, rose design paper will really stand out and it will just pop out even more than uh, it would be on the grayish color background uh, this little white paper i'm gonna be embossed this is the embossing folder from in love arts i do have 25 uh, percent of a uh, discount code uh, so if anyone is interested down below there will be link on that one and then um, i've just embossed this white piece of the paper just to give it this nice texture and i think this is also an additional element it's very you know as you can see you don't need to have this large embossing uh, folders you can just you know emboss it halfway through and then turn it upside down but uh, having this white paper embossed it's really adding that extra special touch to to your card now I have this very old uh, uh, hard die. I think this is from a tonic. I actually received the, uh, this die and I don't have the outer packaging for it. So I do 
think judging by the look of the dice that it could be the tonic one but i could be mistake if if anyone knows what's the name of it please let me know <laughs> uh, so i'm cutting this shape this beautiful gorgeous frame uh, from the white cardstock but to make it pop even more i've decided to use the scrap piece of the gold paper and i really like that paper this is a textured gold paper i also had i was given as a as a you know a gift so i don't know the company is making it but i truly love it because it looks exactly as it's been embossed uh, so it has this nice texture of this like gold embossing and it's also almost the same color as the wow embossing powder i'm using now i also grab another leaf die you could see here this is a very old i think it's retired already uh, the die this leafy uh, dies from spellbinder and this is actually has a very special meaning to me because this was my very first uh, die set i was owning I actually bought two two or three of them. Uh, first time I had made a real trip to the craft store, to the hobby craft, I bought this die and I still love it and I use it until today. What I like to do with my foliage, I like to cut them from the white paper and then color it. I'm using this little like a smooshing technique with a mixture of green color uh, inks because i think this is what makes them look in real and because the um the leaves on this uh, paper which i've already used they are not super green color they're more kind of like a olive tone this is what i'm aiming at and that's why i'm adding more like a, a pillet paint uh, and you know those like a olive tone colors to my leaves rather than uh, like a green green grass color uh, instead so you can see here i'm holding the picture right beside me once i'm coloring those leaves and uh, it's few extra steps i like to stamp over them with the texture stamp or text stamp and then i also take my finger dabber and i'm going around the edges of the leaves just to give them that extra uh, you know dimension and it takes a little bit work it's much you know a little bit more work than you would just cut it from the green cardstock but this way i think it makes the leaves looking way more natural they're not just like a flat uh, you know die cut from the plain cardstock they really look nice and dimensional i didn't want to grab i didn't have any white cards uh, on hand so i just used the back side of the printed paper uh, to stamp the sentiment and you can see in a minute i will be uh, embossing it i actually trimmed the paper uh, so it would be easier for me uh, just to just to you know work with it um, i emboss i've stamped the image i sprinkle it with the gold embossing powder and then um I redo it twice so I've uh, embossed it twice and then I'm just uh, you know uh, you can see now it's it's a small piece of the paper because before I emboss it second time I cut it so now I am trimming around the sentiment uh, because I wanted to give it this nice kind of like a die cut shape I would normally pull my uh, brother's cut and cut machine because I like to use it for this type of the you know fancy cutting of uh, my sentiments but because um, I only have this one sentiment to cut, I've decided I'm just going to do it with my scissors. And you can see here how beautifully it's match up with the with this uh, golden paper, which is underneath the, the heart. Uh, now, since I have all my elements ready, it's time to put this card together. And this is going to be a very quick card. I think it took me like uh, around 30 minutes to, to put it together. Uh, but considering that I already had my uh, foam flowers made. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, it's something simple and easy to do. Everyone can, you know, do it as a last minute card. But I think those type of the cards, they really look nice and elegant. Uh, those two bits which I have here, like uh, this uh, shape elements, I am giving them additional dimension by backing them up with the foam and then i will place them on a card i like to add a drop of the hot glue 
on my um, on my foam so this way i have a little teeny tiny bit room to wiggle uh, so i could make sure i'm just you know placing them the exact spot i i want them and once they're gonna be glue uh, i will then um, build up the layer on top of it this is two separate uh, you know elements but once i'm gonna be putting my heart on top of it in the middle of it i will then uh, you know it will just cover it up and if you don't have or you would you would not have any like frame or element to put in the middle you can always use a ribbon and wrap around it so no one will never see that there is any like you know uh, there it's been cut from two separate elements i'm placing my heart which i've also add some extra foam tape and here you can see i was trying to put this sentiment like across uh, like kind of like a bridge uh, on top of the card but then i've decided hmm it's really gonna be looking nice and it will fit uh, perfectly onto my heart on the inside so this is what i've decided to do but to give it even more like a special touch and make sure I will accent the fussy cutting which I have on the sentiment. I've backed them up with the pieces of the uh, foam, uh, so it will be even more dimension, and this element will, this sentiment will pop up from the heart shape, even more. Uh, so um, here you can see I am just adhering it. And top tip, my friends, if you are using the a hot glue on embossed sentiments like that you've got this like embossing already uh, done don't uh, squish too much because hot glue uh, the heat from the hot glue can re melt uh, your embossing powder it's not going to be remelted uh, properly but it will be you know heat enough uh, to leave your fingerprints like if you would press the sentiment hardly you can leave your finger marks and this is something you don't want to do now i'm just trying to see which size of the uh, flowers will be matching here and uh, let me know in a comment if you have been watch my flower making series and if you would like me to do a couple more because there's still a few flower shapes i think i haven't been filming yet so let me know if you're interested in that and of course if you're watching please don't forget to subscribe to say hi in a comment or share the video and uh, every interaction you're doing with the video is a huge help for uh, us creators and of course please please have a look down below in the description area and say hi to all fellow crafters who's been doing the blog hop with me today so please check their channel subscribe to their channels as well because there's lots of very talented crafters here today and they will be you know sharing with you their knowledge their passion for crafting and i'm sure there will be something beautiful you can find on each one of the channels now i am filling the gaps i've had some leaves and i'm filling the gaps with this little like a gold branches and then uh, i will add a couple of the water droplets now of course <laughs> whenever i craft i usually go either i lost something or i forget something and this time i forgot to charge my phone i didn't plug the you know the cord uh, from the charger and uh, my battery went down i haven't noticed that so the last like two minutes of the card i've just didn't record it but uh, luckily i've put everything together the only one part is which is really missing from the video is the part when i'm gonna be adding this string bow but this is something i've been adding to many cards before in the past so it's nothing really you know i've been missing out i'm super super lucky that i've managed to actually record this 95 percent of the video uh, before it went down uh, i hope you enjoyed today's card and uh, let me know if this is something like in your style or uh, what kind of cards you prefer to do what's your favorite type of the card and let me know if you have been uh, doing any card for the world crafting uh, world card making day if you're planning to craft or what's your idea for today and how many years you've been crafting this is also something you know i'm interested in let me know in a comment for how long you've been crafting uh, i would love to know that 
Thank you so very much, my friends, for being here, for everyone who's been watching my channel, who also recently joined and who uh, who maybe you just watching me for the first time. Thank you so much for being here, for supporting me uh, in my crafting adventure. I hope I will bring you lots of joy through my videos and lots of good ideas. Maybe uh, you will like them. Stay blessed, my friends, and bye-bye.